Hi beautiful souls, it's Sadhana and I'm here today with a comparison video. I have treated myself to a deck, an out of print deck on eBay and I just received the Llewellyn version of the Gaian Tarot. This is a tarot that I've had a hard time connecting with and there are a few cards in this deck that I absolutely adore and one of the things that really kind of I have a hard time with is the photorealism. It looks like I'm looking at uh, photographs of friends of the creator. Um, but that aside, it is a really beautiful deck. And I suppose I have to thank Katie Flowers for this indulgence. After I watched her walk through of the Llewellyn version, I decided to search for it and... I guess, I don't know, crazy me purchased it. So now I have two copies of this deck. So today I thought I would unbox the Llewellyn version and then we could do um, a side-by-side -side look at the cards and probably won't go through all of them, but just have a, um, for those of you that don't have this deck, just look at what the options are out there. I know there's still quite a few copies of Llewellyn available through different eBay sites and different places. So also some used copies around. All right, so let's get started. I'm just going to uh, show you the Schiffer box first. So um, many of you have Schiffer boxes. They have these beautiful ribbons on the inside, very uh, sturdy box. Sorry, this is upside down. And then the guidebook sits on top and then the deck is split in half. And a lot of people don't like this because when you put the cards together, they um, seem to have a split in the cards. And then we have this new deck to me. And so this is brand new. Um, I guess this got damaged in the, because it's been around for a while on somebody's shelf. All right, so let's open this up and see what we have. I'm in Canada, I believe this came from Spain, so I paid for this in euros and I'm not gonna tell you what I spent on it but you can do your research and figure that out. So old Lou Allen box. And all right. And so we have smaller cards with a white border and nothing on the sides and this might See, this seems more like a tarot deck to me, and we'll look at the others. They just, it feels very oracle-y. All right, and then the guidebook and the guidebook. So let's have a look at the two guidebooks first. I've had a good read through the Guy and Tarot, um, the shipper version, because I wanted to really understand some of the cards that are quite different. So in the Schiffer version, and we'll look at, we'll compare some pages so we're looking at same, same. You have on the top corner, which is kind of nice, you have color coding for the suits. So that's really, really a nice, um, a nice feature of this book. And then the inside the book, you've got the cards in color. And you've got quite a bit of information about each of the cards. And I have done some marking up in here. And typical of an oracle style book, you have journal questions after each of the cards. So yeah, so it's, it's it actually is a really, a really nice guidebook. In the Llewellyn version, which I haven't seen, you have a different cover and this is feels more like a novel this one feels more like a textbook and it's hard to describe but this one has softer almost recycled yeah recycled paper and and much softer All right. So it looks like it has the same introduction. And then, OK, 
Okay, so we will just so there's no pictures inside this book. And it looks yes, it does. It's probably very similar because I see it's got the journal questions here. But no pictures. All right, so I'm here at the Emperor. So let's just get the Emperor in the Schiffer book and we'll just compare. Okay, number four. Okay, so we have Just looking at the paragraphs, it looks like it is exactly the same text. And then when you get this card in a reading, yes, it's the same. And then shadow side of the card. And then you have deepen your understanding with themes symbols and I actually really like this feature so in the guidebook I'll show you the shipper because the shipper is actually easier to read you've got all of the symbols in the card described and what what the meanings of each of those symbols are so that's a really nice feature and then comes the journal questions so symbols and then journal questions and then the affirmation so the content of the guidebooks are exactly the same. So this is on recycled paper. There is no pictures. This is on very white, higher quality paper and you get colored pictures for uh, majors and minors. So all of the cards are pictured and you see the cards with their, um, of course, with the, the shipper style with the white, the large white border and then the blue border. Okay, so I'll put those to the side and then let's have a look at the cards themselves. I'm just going to pause here because I have to put my other deck back in order. This is actually really exciting for me. I've never done anything like this before. It seems kind of extravagant. But anyway, let's go on with this. So I can tell right away that the saturation is quite different. So the Schiffer cards are definitely uh, a brighter... A brighter color. Let's open the cello pack. Oh. All right. And so this is typical Llewellyn cardstock. The Schiffer is much thicker, much higher quality. And these are silver edged and these are not. And then just having a look at the backs, you can see that the saturation is really, um, it's a lot, a lot more with the newer version of the deck. And so I considered, of course, trimming the Schiffer deck, but then I saw Kitty's video that these were available and I thought well you know I've never done anything like this before so I will I'll see I love the size of these cards um, I really like the backs of the cards and so let's go through and just see I know there's a couple of differences with the titles for sure and I probably won't go through the whole deck but you can get a general flavor for how the smaller versus the larger picture looks. And some of the cards, of course, the saturation will have a greater effect than other cards. I really do like this priestess card. And this is one of the differences. So the typo wasn't caught I, for the Llewellyn. So he's still called the Emperor and um, his name is the Builder. But in the guidebook, it does mention the Builder. I noticed that when we were looking, when we were comparing the guidebooks. Mm -hmm. 
And so with both borders, we have the image going over the edge of the border. So this is definitely a deck. If you were to trim it, you would lose some of the image. So you could trim it to the white border here. You'd lose, of course, the silver on the side and then use a large corner rounder so none of the blue showed. But you definitely, um, without destroying the image, couldn't trim the Llewellyn version. And then we have the canoe strength, the hermit. Yeah, see in every card it goes over the border. Justice, the tree. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. I really appreciate all the symbolism in this death card. Of all the cards we've seen so far, this one definitely, the saturation actually, I prefer the softer saturation in the, in the Llewellyn card. And that may very well be the case um, in a lot of the cards. And, and I think the softness is actually going to enhance um, some of the reasons why I don't like this deck. And so in the Cards with a greater saturation, the photorealism looks more photographic. And um, yeah, so that might actually help me to uh, appreciate this deck more. And I'll look at a couple of the other cards that um, where I didn't really appreciate. Yeah, see, I like this better. I like the softer look on the skin. But the cards are exactly the same. The with the, the white borders are the same. And of course a much smaller font. And notice the um, the title is in lowercase as opposed to in all caps in color. I know most of you have seen this deck, so I'll just go through really quickly. Mm. Yeah, the softness of the Llewellyn is kind of growing on me. And to do this and see this in person is quite a different uh, experience. So yeah, it's very personal. Like if you like these deep, brilliant colors or you prefer the, the softer pastels. Hmm. Love that baby dragon baby lizard. I guess he's a baby lizard if this has been photographed in this recently. And this card looks pretty much the same. That's just this one. And this one too. There's the so the the difference in the suit of fire is this one is I can see the saturation here a little more. 
So generally speaking, the saturation in the fire suit is, is uh, less dramatic. One of my favorite cards too. I love the Guardians. All actually, most of the Guardian cards are are really quite quite special. And this Elder of Fire, the Fire Keeper. Yeah, I love that card. Okay, and then the last suit, the Water Suit. We'll just kind of see what they did. So yeah, very um, lots of saturation in the water and the fish. And the um, the plankton or whatever it is in the bottom right corner. And so this is one of the cards that I actually don't like for its photorealism. And to me, it looks a lot softer. And um, yeah, I, I actually am liking this smaller deck for that reason. You know, sometimes all those Instagram filters, I I actually prefer the, 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 the images with no filter. It just really looks more natural. And you get a completely different mood here. This is very gray and quite dark. And this is, you know, it's, it's way too brilliant for the mood of the Five of Water. So in, in saturating the pictures, you know, it also changes, for sure, it changes the mood. And this is, maybe I said this already, this is my favorite card of the entire deck. So beautiful. Seven. This card could also very much be the judgment card, don't you think, too? It's a pretty special card. I can hear the Hawaii Five-O theme song playing in my head when I see that card. Oh, that wasn't the last suit. We still have Earth. Earth. This card actually looks better with the saturation. The baby's faces are quite green in the Llewellyn deck. So let me know which one speaks to you and why. Also, I'm curious to know how many of you have actually trimmed off the silver edges, trimmed off the blue border on the shiffer. And then, of course, I'm assuming you used a, a large quarter rounder if you did that. This Llewellyn cardstock feels really good. Like it will, this will riffle, shuffle well. And I think let's, I'll pull a card afterward. This card looks the same but again actually this is a little brighter important right to for this card to be um not so saturated it's a challenging card It's a very pretty card. Mm 
was it did Katie say this looks like a Patronus it does so much it looks like a definitely a magical magical creature the guardians are so well done in this deck so the guardians representing the traditional position of the queen and then we have the elder of earth so yeah there we have it and i'm going to shuffle the llewellyn deck yeah and these are the backs so they look really beautiful there's a a white line in the side here and then on the other side there is not so you can probably tell from that I don't know which way is up and down all right so let's shuffle oh so nice so much easier to um I'm just gonna stand up here so I can make sure I'm in the camera so much easier to shuffle and um, manage than the Schiffer deck, which really, you know, it feels like an Oracle deck, not nothing like a nothing like a tarot deck. So yeah, so maybe I'll start using this. Yay! I'm happy. I thought maybe I might just save this for like I don't know a collect for my save it as a collector, right? Because I I did pay a pretty penny for it, but like I had this book ages ago I think I bought it for my mother and one of the chapters in it was about using the good dishes so this is my use the good dishes moment use the good dishes so the question that I am going to ask the guy in tarot my new guy in tarot is why did you come and why did you need to come into my life because I was quite reluctant <laughs> to purchase you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the seven of water. So maybe I just need to stop, you know, stop overthinking things and making, making the decisions. So I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Don't always take the jumper card. All right, so if you have a question in mind, you know, this is your opportunity now to really think about what that question is. And if you, especially if you don't have the guy in tarot, um, well, any reason really. So what is it that you need to know right now? What is the most important thing that could come forward for you at this time? Do you need some comfort? Do you need a hug? Um, do you need to know what your next step is? And so the card, was it the same card? The, no, 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 it was, I was the seven of water. This is the explorer of water. So this is a card, a lot of movement here. This is a card of adventure and going for it. It's like no holding back. It's also being one with the very much one with the elements, right? So in order to stand up on your surfboard, there's a sense of timing, but also there's no fear, right? You just, you really have to feel the energy of the earth. And also we've got here the dolphin jumping alongside the surfer. So it's a really, it's a, it's very much a card of going with the flow. And so I hope that gives you comfort or permission to step forward and really just kind of lean into the energy of the earth and, and move with her and with her power and with her strength and know that, you know, you have the strength as long as you're moving with her, not against her to, to move forward in whatever it is you're working on at this time. Yeah. And as for me, well, I kind of give, I get, kind of get this as, yeah, Sadhana, you needed to, you need to work with this deck. And if, um, and if giving yourself the gift of a more extravagant out of print deck is going to, is what you needed to do, then yeah, it's, maybe it's okay. 
Hopefully that's not just my own ego justifying this extravagant purchase. Yeah. So that's it for today. I think I'll sign off and stay well, my friends. Namaste.